okay now we have a valid ID from the user that is from the Chrome itself to the application therefore we can start with the manipulation of the screen recording and do some interesting stuff so let's see what we can do next go ahead and type navigator dot webkit get user media and it will accept an object now right here you need to specify whatever you would like to have I mean the access you would like to have by the users for example you just simply cannot use the microphone without their permission so here audio if I set it to true then Google Chrome would first of all ask the user to grant access to the microphone to this application and obviously we need something as video as well now here's the tricky part now the video would be an object and right here you have to write the keyword mandatory because this is mandatory the video access should be mandatory and since we already have the permissions for the video we don't need to pretty much do anything here except for specifying what we need to do with the video we are getting now right here you need to specify what is the source of your video which you are getting from the user and since we are just using the desktop right now I am just using the desktop right now so my Chrome media source would be simply desktop and Chrome media source ID now this ID would technically let the browser know what we are talking about what we were talking about so I can just get rid of this hole and just pass the argument itself right here now we are pretty much done with this first object right here and what we can do is we can pass another argument right here which would be our callback function again so let's say I'll just name it start stream start stream would be the callback function whenever this thing is ready this function would be called off so now let's just work on start stream and right here we need to do real job we were supposed to do in this extension okay so now first of all we need some information from this function passed into this function as an argument so this would be the stream now actually you need to know that when this function is being called when this function this function is being called then actually the user screen is being recorded so inside the stream is a blob data of the screen capture which is going on in the background so what we can do is we can just simply um, pick up this video right here let's give it an ID of uh, screen main or oh, this should be main screen but anyways get element by ID screen main and this is our video container and I'll just give video dot src equals and we need to pass in the blob data to this src so this video would actually fetch the screen live from our blob URL and if you don't know what is blob this blob word right here it's just binary binary large object and this is just used to um, you know transfer large data like videos and audios and uh, you can say pictures maybe inside the HTTP um, headers and protocols so whenever you see the word blob this should click you that the data type associated is not kind of characters or integers or numbers or whatever the data transfer is happening over like images or videos are being transferred so let's just get rid of this word right now and fill it with some meaningful data now here's what we need to do 
type URL dot create object URL and pass in stream. Now what we are doing here is I'll just show you. So inside your console type URL. Now this URL is an inbuilt function of JavaScript. Now this function would allow you to basically um, okay let me explain it this way so let's stay uh, let's say that this function right here the user grants access to the extension to record their screen and user selects the entire screen now we have got something in this ID as Chrome media source ID now this function is called as a callback and the stream now what this stream contains it actually contains a video file it actually is a video file as a um, you can say inside a binary as a binary data because all of the happenings all of the things are transferred in ones and zeros and not in twos so this is a video file a real video file and with the help of this line right here what we are doing is we are simply converting that video file into a valid valid URL so that like Chrome extension my video or whatever valid URL so that we could actually use that on our web page to see what's actually being recorded so this creates a valid URL for this video which would eventually assign this to this video HTML tag and the reason I have added autoplay attribute to this because you know you, sh you guys should probably guess by now that autoplay would play the video automatically so that it doesn't get stuck on the first frame itself okay enough of talk so let's get back to the work now we could actually do something like stream dot on ended now stream dot on ended would be like a callback function whenever the video or the user decides to close the video so I'll just console log this as video recording session ended and right here we just start the console log um, receiving RECE IVING data from user um, that's pretty much it let's see that in action so I'll just reload this window let's click on launch inspect element for sure console let's click on start recording I'll just select entire screen let's click on share okay so we have got an error here an error in the response to desktop capture failed to execute three arguments required but only two presents okay so which one are we missing right here uh, well, let me see okay the I guess it needs one more argument and this should be pretty much failed stream now this would happen whenever there's some kind of technical glitch or any problem that the user has selected a screen which is no longer available now so then this function would be called so let's just quickly create this function as well so I'll just console log some sort of error who cares and that's pretty much it let's reload this again here we go inspect element in place console ready let's click on the button select entire screen share okay so we are actually calling this function some sort of error alright so let's see what's happening okay so um, this is a kind of error so maybe there's a typo because I don't think that there's any syntax error anywhere so this is um, the functions actually coming here because otherwise it won't call this function this fail stream so there's no syntax error here otherwise the JavaScript would break audio true 
mandatory. Oh, oh, yeah, you see that? I just misspelled the source inside the Chrome Media Source ID, and that bug probably costed us around 3 to 4 minutes. So, okay, so let's reload this again, and I'll just click on launch. Inspect element, set it up, start recording, entire screen, share. Okay, whoa, bad luck. Failed streams, uh, Chrome Media Source, desktop. Okay, that's 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 embarrassing. I don't know where's the error now. Okay, but who's calling this function? Okay, so maybe let's just try to change this to false and let's close this window. Let's reload this. Let's launch this. And I just changed that to false because we were not prompted for microphone access. So let's just click on start recording entire screen. Okay, so here you go. So there's a mini version of screen which is being recorded and you see that here's a little notice which appears to us that your my desktop capture is sharing your screen and if I just zoom this video a little bit up with 800 pixels by 450 pixels in height you see that we are creating a kind of a infinite loop inside a window inside a window which is probably would be happening but once I minimize this then actually we are recording everything nicely in a video and this is the blob URL which is being generated by here you go this thing right here so this helps you to feed feed your fetch your latest video within your application so I'll just take a look at why isn't the audio working and what do we need to do to make that work and then I'll see it see that and will inform you guys in my upcoming tutorial so that's it for this tutorial and stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and that's it for this tutorial pretty much so I'll see you then next time